Happy Independence Day here in the United States. Do you want to take a walk with me through freedom and privilege? I'm Rachel Keefe and this is Monday's Muse. Up until a few years ago, I would have said that I don't have much privilege at all. And there would be days when I would question how much freedom I actually had. I've come to see that very differently. And I'm going to invite you to go on a privilege walk with me to see how much privilege you have. So let's go do that now. If your parents worked nights and weekends to support your family, step back. If you are able to move through the world without fear of sexual assault, step forward. If you can show affection for your romantic partner in public without fear of ridicule or violence, step forward. If you have a visible or invisible disability, step back. If the primary language spoken in your household growing up was not English, step back. If you came from a supportive family environment, step forward. If you forward. have ever tried to change your speech or manner, If you can go anywhere in the country and easily find the kinds of hair products you need and or cosmetics that match your skin color, step forward. If you were embarrassed about your clothes or house while growing up, If you step can back. make mistakes and not have people attribute your behavior to flaws in your race, if step you have forward. ever been told that you cannot do something because of your gender, step back. If you were born in the United States, step forward. If you or your parents have ever gone through a divorce, step if back. If you felt like you had adequate access to healthy food If you are reasonably up, sure you would be hired for a job based on your ability and qualifications, step forward. If you would never think twice about calling the police when trouble occurs, Step forward. If you can see a doctor whenever you feel the need, step forward. If you feel comfortable being emotionally expressive or If open. you have ever been the only person of your race in a classroom or a workplace setting, step back. If you took out loans for your education, step back. If you get time off for your religious holidays, if you had a job during your high school and college years, step back. If you feel comfortable walking home alone at night, if step you have forward. ever traveled outside the United States, Step forward. If you feel confident that your parents or other family members would be able to financially help or support you if you were going through a financial hardship, step forward. If you have ever been bullied or made fun of based on something you cannot change, step back. If there were more than 50 books in your house growing up, step forward. If you studied the culture or the history of your ancestors in elementary school, Step forward. If your parents or guardians attended college, step forward. If you ever went on a family vacation, step forward. If you can buy new clothes or go out to dinner when you want to, step forward. If you were ever offered a job because of your association with a friend or family member, step if forward. If one of your parents was ever laid off or unemployed not by choice, step back. If anyone has publicly made sexual comments about your body, step back. If anyone has ever asked if they could touch your hair or touched your hair without asking, if you have never been followed in a store or stopped by the police just because you look suspicious, step forward. At this point in the exercise, if you were doing this in a group, you would take a look around and see who is behind you, who is in front of you, and who is by your side. As you can see, I have a fair amount of privilege as a white, middle-class woman who grew up in poverty, who is now well-educated and not heterosexual. Somehow all those things have converged so that I have a fair amount of privilege. I can't tell you how to use the privilege you have, but I can encourage you to be mindful as I try to be myself of how I use the privilege I have to the benefit of others. Privilege is social capital, and I encourage you to spend it well. If you happen to be watching on YouTube, please leave a comment below so we know you're there. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Happy Independence Day.